Hello, I am Eli Adashi, Professor of Medical Science at Brown University and co-author of the paper, Your Money or Your Patient's Life, Ransomware and Electronic Health Records. My co-authors who could not be here today include Professor Glenn Cohen of Harvard Law School and Professor Sharona Hoffman of Case Western Reserve University Law School. To launch this conversation, perhaps a word or two about the evolution of this phenomenon. We know it occurs frequent, frequently, perhaps even with growing frequency. And we also know that it is here to stay, hence its lasting importance. In May of this year, the president issued an executive order requesting all governmental departments and agencies to submit within the span of 90 days risk management assessments to the Department of Homeland Security and to the Office of Management and Budget. This process is ongoing. Concurrently, several departments, such as the Department of Health and Human Services, issued their own guidelines, as did agencies such as the FDA, which focused on medical devices, defibrillators, dialysis equipment, or even intravenous infusion pumps. Lastly, the Senate concurrently sponsored several bills promoted primarily by Senators Kane, Risch, and Wicker that are designed to improve the national response to crisis along these lines. Lastly, I would like to close with the notion of non-payment or the non-payment of ransom principle, which has been raised and is the subject of ongoing discussion. Whether or not this will be a local decision between a hospital CEO, his or her board, and appropriate stakeholders remains to be seen. Might this become a nationwide principle that hospitals will adhere to is, of course, uncertain at this time. We are dealing with an evolving situation. Thank you very much.